Hey there, CIS240. For this upcoming session, session two, we will build off of what you did in session one. I know potentially what you're asking yourself is what did I do in session one? Number one, you got the book. If you did not get the book, A-S-A-F-P, get the book. Number two, you signed up for Replit. If you did not sign up for Replit, do yourself a favor and sign up for Replit. The big advantage there is if something should happen to your browser tab, you forgot to copy and paste you know, your URL for a submission. For whatever reason, if you're using Chrome or whatever and it, it crashes for some reason, having your account ensures that no work is lost. It doesn't happen very often, but when it happens, it's entirely infuriating. So do not allow that to happen. Sign up for Replit. Here in session two, you will be reading through chapter two and completing chapter two end of chapter program exercises. Let me give you, just before you get into the material, with the textbook. Um, let me tell you two things. Number one, um, I have support material like we would do in class. But like I would do in class, I am not going to read from you, or to you rather, every page. Okay, let's start on one. Now that we're done with one, let's go to two. Now that we're done with two, let's go to three. That is baby playtime. This is college. It's a little bit different. I'll hit the high notes for you um, and give you application things like how am I going to apply this, not Java application things. Um, so do not expect, um, because you will not find um, a a one-to-one -one page to video um, output. Also, do not expect a one-to-one -one section to video output. I know I have skipped over four sections in chapter two that I want you to read, that I want you to know that I will not make videos on because... The, they don't necessarily have the application component that I think you need more explaining on. So do read everything. What I will tell you is there is a midterm and a final where things of a definitional nature come back because we don't spend as much time as we do on an application nature for things. So don't skip, do read. Um, y y the choice is yours if you want to read first and then listen to the videos, listen to the videos, listen and watch the videos, um, and then go through the text. W whatever your preference is is fine by me. Um, after that, you will notice that there are or is a, um, a page in the modules called like chapter two examples. Through there, I have code and video samples to walk through with you so that it's it's external to things you would have seen in the text, but it's a conglomeration of all of those things all put together so you can see larger application rather than like five or seven lines of code. Here's 10 or 15 lines of code that's a little bit more explanatory. Uh, the very last thing on your docket for this week um, are the chapter two end of chapter program exercises. Those are either text or text and replit links that you would paste into a Word document and submit that Word document because that way I can go through and see your code and everything else. Do not hand in, even if you have chosen to do the, um, the install of Visual Studio Code or Xcode or Visual Studio Community, um, do not hand in project files. Uh, do not hand in those folder structures. Do everything in Replit so that it doesn't pay out this week as much, but in the long term it pays out because we can have much more in-depth conversations about your code if you can see it in a much more live environment than here, you know, zip this folder structure, send me a folder structure, I unzip a folder structure, import a folder structure, edit a folder structure, zip a folder structure, send you a folder structure, you get the idea. It really sucks. With a rep lit, rep lit link, I send you a link, you open the link, you edit the link, I get the link. It's all, it's, it's, it's really fantastic in that way. Um, one final note, uh, I, I feel as though 
because the text made me feel as though um, I, I mentioned the following thing a bunch of times. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense right this moment. It will make sense in future chapters. And I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely mean that. Um, this kind of a coding textbook is pretty typical, actually, of the way you'll see coding textbooks because the individuals that have you know published these come from the math and science background where they do what I call advance retreat advance, which is we'll tell you about something and we'll make you do it the hard way. And then we'll, we'll bring you back to that course concept and we'll show you something that's even easier, that accomplishes the same thing, but does it in a much smaller way, right? A more compact, a more simple way. And this text and most coding textbooks do exactly that. So there are places where I say, don't worry about a string object being an object of a class that you don't know and it has methods. And I understand that those are not satisfactory answers. I'm not satisfied giving you those kinds of answers. But I can also tell you it's way too much to just go and give you all of the background that you'll need right there. You'll Your head will spin. I will take casualties. Um, and we're not looking to do that. So uh, believe me, those are all just down payments. Chapters two and three are the down payment chapters where I have to say a lot. We'll come back to this idea later on. Then we go all the way to chapter six before I say it again. So really, they will pay out in the long run for things like, well, a string is an object. Just go, yes, a string is an object. And that's good enough for right now. So have at it, everybody.